I was walking one afternoon in August along a river bank, thinking the same thoughts that I always think when I walk along a river bank in August. As I was walking, I was thinking, now it is August, and I am walking along a river bank. I do not think I was thinking of anything else. I should have been thinking of what I should have been doing, but I was thinking only of what I was doing then, and it was all right. It was good and ordinary and slow and idle and old and sure. What I was doing I could have been doing a thousand years before, had I been alive then, or myself, or any other man. You could have thought the river was ringing, Almost, you could hear the green rapid bells sing in it. It could have been the river Eleusina that dances at the noise of music, for with music it bubbles, dances, and grows sandy, and so continues till the music ceases. Or it could have been the river in Judea that runs swiftly all the six days of the week, and stands still and rests all their Sabbath. There were trees blowing, standing still, growing, knowing, whose names I never knew. Once, indeed, with a friend, I wrote a poem beginning, All trees are oaks, except fir trees. There were birds being busy, or sleep flying in the sky. The poem had continued, All birds are robins, except crows or rooks. Nature was doing what it was doing, and thinking just that. And I was walking and thinking that I was walking, and for August it was not such a cold day. And then I saw, drifting along the water, a piece of paper, and I thought, Something wonderful may be written on this paper. I was alone on the gooseberry earth, or alone for two green miles, and a message drifted toward me on that tabby-colored water that ran through the middle of the cow-patched, mooing field. It was a message from multitudinous nowhere to my solitary self. I put out my stick and caught the piece of paper and held it close to the river bank was a page torn from a very old periodical that I could see. I leant over and read, through water, the message on the rippling page. I made out with difficulty only one sentence. It commemorated the fact that over a hundred years ago, a man in Worcester had for a bet eaten at one sitting fifty-two pounds of plums.